Hi, this is Rob Lawrence from Softec, and today I'm going to demonstrate the repeatability of the PR2000. So the way we represent the repeatability is we repeat two runs and we overlay those runs over the top of each other. And we see how closely they match. If they match closely, then the run is repeatable. And we also want to look at the statistics to make sure their statistics are repeatable as well. So I'm going to go ahead and um, I have a seam here on the film that I have lined up with my gauge head just so I know where I started. So I'll start at the same point again for my overlay. So I go ahead and close the nip arm and I do the run. So I have this set up well. Um, I have good run technique and the run technique is important because that makes the unit reliable. Whoever goes to use it, if they use the same run technique, look at the same answer. And it's easy to set that up with this unit because it's designed to handle thin films and things like that so that they are go through the machine taut and uh, flat. So I'll go ahead and stop again. I just uh, hit my seam. So I'm going to save this run. Run one. Now, I, now that I've saved the run, I'm going to set back up here and just make sure I'm lined up just right. I'm going to go ahead and run the unit again. Okay. At the end there. So I'll go ahead and save this run as run two. Now I have my two runs saved. So what I do is in our software we have a feature called open for overlay. So we open for overlay and we open run one and we lay it over run two. So you can see the repeatability is very good. I'll zoom in a little bit. On the, on the, so you can see how tightly the red line tracks the blue line. Each line is a different run. The other thing we want to make sure is that this, the statistics are matching up. So I can see I had an average of 0.735 on run two. My open for view run one. I again have an average of 0.735. So the repeatability of the Softec PR2000, as you can see, is it's very good even on a thin film of 0.7 mil, and you know that's great because you want to make sure what you're measuring is real. You want to make sure what your instrument's putting out is the actual data, and uh, the PR2000 does a great job of repeating the results over and over.